starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? Now, I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her. And it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? It tells the story of a man, a Latter-day King Solomon. When plague struck his subjects, they turned to him for guidance and protection. For they were God-fearing folk, and he was a godly king. The king turned his flock to God, which was not enough. The plague spread on. The king worried about his position. Jeez, this is getting deep. Man. This is getting deep. He's drilling it. Mr. McCraith, and of the head to which it's fixed. There was no lamb. There was a trial. Fair and lawful. You're a pompous You're a coward. Pompous coward. Fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. A man to make the judgment, and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose oh. for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. Hmm. You toy with magic. Admit it. You toy with magic. You don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract. I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you. Aha! Poison it was then. The weapon of the wicked to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna, hemlock, foxglove? Betrayal. Truth unspoken. Secrets and lies. Wrongs, basically. Your wrongs. The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius. The wrongs that led to her death. She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Not mm. all. She died at her own. She died because she would not submit. Twas not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. Oh, here we go. Oh, gosh, dang it. I, I'm trying not to do this one because the decision will contribute to a resurrection this decision was... oh gosh if if i kill him crap if i don't kill him i mean he is guilty of what he did but it's but i don't want to do this out of Shoot, man. I don't know if I should if I should kill him or if I should spare him. But if I spare him, I mean, she's going to ascend. But is this going to make me into a bad guy if I, if I sacrifice him? But then these people are going to come after me. Ugh. I'll see what happens. You had the power to stop the madness, but instead you chose to let it run all the way to its barbaric conclusion. You brought the curse down on New Eden. Then you called we banishers in to fix your mistake. You boast uh -oh. of your knowledge of demons and spirits, but in truth, you master nothing. You're a peacock. All show and no meaning. 
I'm not here today to bring justice. But this man, your governor, brought death to your doors. <laughs> he deserves blaming. Friends, have I ever not served the interests of our community? Have I not protected you? Have I not loved you? Jeez, man. Oh, good job. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Wait. Wait, dead. Oh, don't tell me. I'm going the dark side. Oh gosh, dang it. This is unfair. I should have let him live. Is the evil gone for good? Far from it. Then who will protect us? I will. While Mr. McCrae fights the curse of New Eden, I will protect the people of the Harrows. Or at least, I'll try. Now let's all return to our homes and pray for forgiveness and uh, the strength to bear the consequences of our actions. Jeez, dude. Your fee. I don't want to. One of the many debts my father left me. I don't want to go down to this dark road. I don't. You best put your own debts first, young Master Haskell. Don't I know it? Jeez, man.